Welcome to this episode of Matchless Radio, giving a voice to the legend. I'm your host, Nick Simcock. Thank you. I want to say thank you for all your amazing messages on social media where you can follow us on our official pages and also for the emails that you can send to innovators at matchlesslondon.com. In this episode, we have an interview with a multi-Oscar winning Hollywood legend. So stay tuned for that. To celebrate our third episode, we have created a matchless radio voucher worth 200 euros on a minimum purchase of 699 euros when you shop online at matchlesslondon.com. The voucher is valid until the 30th of September. To use your voucher, simply enter the code THIRD EPISODE at the checkout. Today's guest has been nominated for the Academy Award for Best Costume Design 12 times, winning four times for the films Chicago, Memoirs of a Geisha, Alice in Wonderland and Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. She has a long-standing collaboration with director Tim Burton, from Edward Scissorhands to Dumbo, from Hannibal Lecter's Mask to Alice in Wonderland's Dress. With over 30 years of experience, she is a much-respected Hollywood legend who has worked many times with Michele Malinotti and his companies together now with her good friend Michele Malinotti it's a great pleasure to talk with costume designer Colleen Atwood hello hello hi Colleen w- was that introduction hi. okay for you how do you feel about that introduction yeah, absolutely that was great okay wonderful we w- I wanted to start by asking how do you get started with a new costume for a new character where do you find your inspiration well, I think when I first begin, my first point of inspiration is the screenplay um, and reading that and getting ideas from that. And then sometimes if it's set in a period, I read books that are set in the same period with the same sort of type of people. I try to find out things about the time and how people lived. And then I look at photographs, museums, um, fashion always just for fun and even though it doesn't relate I like to know what's going on in the world anyway so I always relate back to that okay and then I start looking for real clothes from the period to get ideas to make them um, for modern day bodies which are quite different than the, the bodies from the period very seldom do those clothes actually fit actors so um, that's kind of my starting point and then fabrics and different random things kind of inspire me as I go along. You have created some iconic designs for Helena Bonaparte, Carter, uh, Johnny Depp. Um, what, what, is, what is it like working with those actors and the director Tim Burton? What kind of collaboration, what kind of teamwork do you, do you have? Well, I've, prob- I've done more movies with Tim than anybody that I've worked with. And I think that there's certain sensibilities that Tim and I share, and it's hard to explain what it is, but it's maybe that we grew up in a similar time in a similar economic uh, world and in a similar sort of suburban American world that um, 
that the style of the times was similar and that we both are very, uh, we don't put a lot of stuff together. We put, it's about taking things out a bit. So it's what you call in painting or stuff, negative space. So it's about, with Tim, sometimes it's like an empty room with the perfect doorknob. <laughs> or for me, sometimes with a dress or something, it's a very simple shape, but it has an amazing color or amazing piece of jewelry with it or amazing accent with it that sort of puts it into another world. The, the costumes are incredible. Uh, I was wondering what kind of compromises you have to make um, and why. And I'm thinking about, for example, the all action star Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible 3. Uh, what kind of compromises do you have to make for the movie? Well, it depends on what you have to do, what the costume has to do in the movie. Um, I don't ever call it a compromise. I call it a challenge <laughs> because it, it, it's not really that you're giving something up. It's that you're taking something on that you didn't know was going to be there. So I'd rather spin it as a positive thing than as a compromise. It, it's like a, I mean, dressing actors, especially for action, <clears throat> action movies and especially someone that does so much of it, their own action like Tom is to make it work for him because it's all about that happening so if he can move his arms or anybody can lift their arms move their arms roll on the ground stand up and do all those things they need to do in the costume and it works and sometimes it involves doing three or four versions of the same thing because different things work well for different purposes in an action movie mm or with an action costume, whether it's Tom Cruise sure. or somebody in Planet of the Apes. Yeah. Like you have different things that function differently. So so those kind of challenges are kind of fun to take on. I mean, the designers that really come up against that are the people not only doing action, but when you think about superhero costumes and how those play out, they're like, there are three or four versions usually mm -hmm. of those for movement and for different action. Okay. And that's why we work together. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I wanted to we ask now. We collaborated, now. Mike and I, for many years. I can't, we're not counting anymore, are we? No, no. <laughs> no because Six children later on your, in your behalf. Uh, with, 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 the, with the Matchless brand, now Matchless has created jackets for many Hollywood blocks, blockbusters, 007, Captain America, to name but two. What do you think is the secret of the Matchless brand in Hollywood, Colleen? Well, I think they're um, absolutely perseverance with quality and, and classic style, but, but still being totally up to date with what they're doing with materials and shapes and, and sort of the marriage of the old and the new in a really kind of beautiful, very modern way. Mm -hmm. And so if you ever jump on a motorbike with Tom Cruise, you're going to be wearing what? A, a matchless? <laughs> Uh, if I ever jump on a thing with him, I think I'll wear a parachute. <laughs> Full on Wonderful. leather jumpsuit with lots of padding. Um, <laughs> I wanted to ask you as a, as a final fun question. Uh, you're always busy creating costumes for other people. Do you find it difficult to dress yourself in the morning? Uh, no. <laughs> um, because. Uh, I kind of have a uniform that I wear, so I, I'm like one old fashioned because I get up at like five in the morning or sometimes for work, I put out my clothes the night before. So, yeah. you know, it's jeans, boots, a good jacket and, you know, okay. you're done. Okay. It's pretty much that. Um, for the pro when I always have the worst time dressing myself is if it's something fancy like, mm. like evening things because it's not my world yeah sure and i always feel very awkward in those kind of clothes so for me that's the hardest thing to dress but every day is pretty black <laughs> white brown i have like five colors in my closet it's pretty pathetic <laughs> <laughs> can i make a question yeah sure <clears throat> i have a question for you so if uh, you wanna um, if, if uh, you will imagine the perfect uh, match with a man for matchless, who will be your choice? Who is gonna be your, the one you say, this guy oh will God. be perfect for you? Oh, I mean, 
whatever yeah, yeah, it's just a because, thing because you need you need the right guy no because because it's about i mean my respect for your work for you as a person all the all the the experience we are we made together we but i think that your style is unbelievable because you always as you said before you put modernity together with classic and i think this is the secrets of make a product for a long period not just for one situation your movie from my right. point of view they always stay forever because they represent something that is a classic they never change so this this content are really our experience in our product and really our in, in always my design i always take inspiration as well from movies and i know how much is important to also make something that you can use in action so but the classic yeah. side is a very important angle of i think your work and that's why people recognize on you in terms of uh, situation. Yeah, so I think the question is, Colleen, is which leading guy <laughs> would you put in the matchless clothes? Gosh, I don't know. I mean, there's so many uh, One, One you it's think like, is... It's, it's so like Steve McQueen. You Michele. Know, ah, no, she, she got the answer, Nick. <laughs> Steve McQueen. Steve All McQueen. Right, there. Stop there, that's but, fine. Uh, we have to... We need to bring him back. <laughs> putting him in a match. Thank you. But you're doing well with... I mean, Tom is iconic in that way for for those kind of uh, styles, and you know the the sort of there's so many new young actors out there that look great and matchless with their jeans and you know what they style. So, I mean, the thing that's great about it, and I love it on girls, mm. like it just looks great on a on a kind of throwaway like. The girl behind you looks pretty great in it, but... Uh, <laughs> Kate Moss. <laughs> Not bad, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Colleen, you know, th thank she you. She knows how to wear clothes. Yeah. Um, it's um, just a little thing. Yeah. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of time, Colleen, because we have this, this format on, on the social networks. But... Um, okay, I, we're you're good, right? I, I, I want to thank you for your for your time and congratulate on you you on your on your amazing work in costume design. So thank you so much. It was a pleasure to talk thank with you. Thank you. Thank you, Colleen. Continue. Speak All to right. you soon. So Mike, I see you next week. I yeah, I'll see you. I'll see you next week. I come uh, at the okay, end of cool. the weekend or next week, but we we catch up for one hundred percent. All right. Okay. No Big kiss. Thanks. All right. thank bye, you. Bye. 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 A big warm thanks to our very special guest, Colleen Atwood. And thank you for watching this episode of Matchless Radio. So, see you next time. Bye for now. Bye.